welcome to the office. Yeah, it's too cold outside to fly today, so we're inside and we're going to talk about the Femi X8 SE 2022. I just got the gray one in, okay? It's got my sticker on it, okay? Ready to go, okay? So without wasting any more time, I'm just going to go out and show you my very first flight. And then we'll come back and discuss some more, okay? See you after this one. very first flight everything on auto uh, 1080p 30 frames per second because I do that as a control across the board with all mine and hopefully if you bump up the resolution it's gonna be better than that okay so I was expecting because it was minus 22 degrees Celsius I was expecting jello I was expecting color degradation I was expecting fogginess I was expecting all kinds of things that other people have been experiencing I didn't experience near half of that Okay, so I was very impressed, okay, very impressed. Very responsive, flew great, uh, the battery life is phenomenal, loved it, okay. So now I'm gonna show you the second flight. Now I've done, oh, five or six flights, okay, and I've tested things and charged the batteries up and down a lot. And uh, uh, yeah, it, it's been a really good experience so far, okay. So I'm gonna show you the second flight. Okay, I'm not going to show you any more, just the second one. A bit of a distance, okay? And for me around here, that's very important. My visual line of sight is usually farther than what the drone will go because they all come back at like 450, 500 meters, okay? So here we go. Let's roll that one. It's at five. Let's see if we can go up to about eight or nine. There we go. we go there and this is the reason I got this one cold it's about minus eight degrees okay and all my other drones at about somewhere around here we lose well we're at about uh, 400 so about 500 or 550 we lose connection 
and we're not going to be any better. So it's not the drone's fault. It's just the environmental issues that we have. But this is the Rock Link 3. So I'm just going to step out a little bit. Point them sticks up a bit more. And there we go. So we can still maneuver. Yeah, this is a lot further than I've done before in any of my other drones. So the Rock Link 3 does do a lot better. Okay. Return to home. Return to current. Return to home. Let's see. Auto return. What's the speed when it comes back? We're at four. I have to race to the 50 meter mark. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, can I move my camera? Or can I change my EV value? I would never get a kilometer on any of my other drones. So this Rock Link 3 is, is better. Okay. There we go. Okay, how was that? Yeah, I got out of that one kilometer range. Very happy, okay? Horizon tilt, really good, considering all the other drones out there. The uh, controller, it's got a wheel. You can adjust the exposure value. Really loved it. Also, let's talk about cables. You know my pet peeve with Femi X8 Mini, that they proprietorized one end of the cable? Not this one. And these cables actually work. In 2018, on their version, in order to use on my phone, I had to bend the cable like that to use it. So they changed it. Now it works perfectly. And you can use any cable you want. And it'll work. There's no sequencing involved. You just plug it all in, turn it on, and it works. It, it was a dream. A dream to work. So, pretty good. Okay? So let's get into, and I'll put a, a thing up here. Let's get into some of the differences, okay? Now I've got my sheet up here and I just wanna have a look at it right on and off like this. But the main difference between the 2022 and all the other ones is the Rocklink 3 transmission system, which gives supposedly a 10 kilometer range and um, the actual uh, sensor for the camera which is 1 over 2.0 and there were differences in the other two in 2018 it was 1 over 2.6 and in 2020 it was 1 over 
two point I'll find it somewhere one over two point six. Okay, and one over two point six in two thousand twenty, and one over two point three in uh, two thousand eighteen, and now we're one over two point zero. Oh. So there you go. So the biggest differences are in the camera, pretty well. Okay, some other minor differences, and you can look at this uh, chart and have a look. And but basically, that was it. Uh, the weight has always been up there, seven hundred and sixty plus grams. And the heavy storm was in 2018. Okay, so yeah, so that, that's a biggie as well. Okay, but yeah, I'm not going to get into all the ins and outs and what things do. And you've got the the the, the D button here that you you can program it, push down. It does something right now by default. I just push it down, not in. I push it down, and it brings the camera either down or up. Okay, if you're pointing down, it brings it up. If you're pointing up, it brings it down. It's a beautiful thing, and you can program that to do anything you want. So overall, the Femi X8 SE 2022, what do I think? I was literally blown away, literally blown away, amazed. I know some people have issues. I know some people have jello, some people have fogginess. Some people have other issues with them. And yes, Femi's quality control needs some improvement. My Femi X8 Mini needs some improvement. My Zeno, my Zeno Mini Pro needs a lot of improvement, okay? Um, but in the warm weather, my Femi X8 Mini is a great little travel drone. I, I love that thing, it's great, okay? Now the Femi X8 SE 2022 it's a great addition because I don't have to worry so much about the weather. It's got a level eight wind resistance. The boards have been coated with a weather resistant whatever, probably just sprayed with lacquer, I don't know what, but uh, I'm not worried about it if it gets caught out in a little drizzle. Okay, so that's that, okay? So as a wrap up, I'm really, really happy with Femi X8 SE 2022 edition, okay? I must have got a good one, okay? Because so far, I don't have many problems with it, okay? Be interesting to see once the blue sky comes out and the sun comes and there's some more color in the world around here other than brown and white, okay? Uh, but overall, I'm very impressed and I, I can't say enough. Simplicity, absolute simplicity. Plug it in, turn it on, away you go, okay? It is over 250 grams. Just be cautious of that and what you have to do to get around that or to work within that, okay? Hope you enjoyed this preview, first impression, which is very good, okay? And in the next videos, I'm going to get into the waypoints and the flying and some of the uh, the tricks of the trade, tricks, tricks of the trade, yeah, some of the things you can do with it and uh, autonomous flight modes and all this kind of stuff. So uh, uh, I look forward to doing that and I look forward to sharing that with you. Okay, until then, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, again, I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Thanks, Feeny. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.